Um, so th there is an awful lot going on. Absolutely. Um, I suppose um, I was listening to um, Peter with the ACIO and um, a super soldier, right? And this is um, this is a critical point. Uh, I've addressed this many different times uh, in a number of different videos that I've done, right? About what you believe is true versus not true, and if you understand programming language, right? How to build a network, how to build a universe, how to seed a race, how to program an operating system, right? Antennas. As I've mentioned many times, I'm a polarity integrator. That's a monopole. That's a single flag. White light. Diamond white light. A purifier. Yeah, because I love that energy. <laughs> okay. Right. So you just love giving it away. So there's no way that I could ever give back the amount of gratitude and blessing I feel in my heart every single day just to know what it is I am in energy. Okay, so I use that energy on behalf of everyone that is here. Actually, I use my energy wherever I become aware of that I'm experiencing anything less than what the purest of light is, which is the purest of love. Because I know what it's like to experience what I am and what I don't experience. What is it? What that is. That's called an easy map read. That means you're reading the waves. Okay, so a simple example of that would be... Um, La Hoi Hoi, right down the road here. Powerful healing energy there. Okay, water there that's coming in there. That's where the humpback whales birth their calves. You think a mother, a humpback whale, doesn't know where to birth her calves in the energy field in which those, her children are going to be born? That's called a map read. Her antenna, her stereo receiver, is picking up on the energies. So if you were a mother, would you not want to be able to give birth to what's inside your womb, okay, to be able to produce a healthy child. So you can read the environment to know what is the healthy environment because your level of intelligence operates at that level, which is based on the level of your consciousness, which is based on what your level of knowing is by being able to read the waves, which is to read the codes. So we're code readers, mathematical code readers, because as a polarity integrator, which is a simple calculus, arithmetic between polarities. So what it means is that we know how to naturally tune in to the most powerful scalar waves because we're accustomed to being with the most powerful energy. Right? So this is why an example of that would be, I can be actually more comfortable sleeping on a beach right next to Pounding 50 foot waves. Okay, why? Because they, it's like rocking the cradle. What a loss. So I'll give you another example. I was living right down the road here in a tent. Okay, every day for months until somebody came up with a badge and said, You can't do that. It's just like, I don't think you understand. I work for my mother. You know, Mother Earth, the great living spirit of Mother Earth. That's a higher law. Okay, and this is her classroom. How dare you, see? But in order to maintain your peace, maintain your harmony and balance, that's their journey and that's not our journey. So you're navigating through a field of consciousness. Okay, so now what you're measuring is operating levels. The operator, the operator, remember the switchboard operator, switches on and off, binary codes that fire. Okay, so you know that a monopole is running a high-speed router. So that would be no different than the father and mother that are joined as one in order to protect all their children. So how are you going to be able to do that if you're running a lower bandwidth perception? Right? If you are what love is, you're going to protect everything that love creates that comes out of you, either as the seed giver and the grower, which means a birth giver, in this case, a goddess. So I was very aware of when I was a small child, 1955, it's like a goddess that has had an enormous amount of intruders that are parasites feeding on goddess energy to drop her down in a negative magnetic space. So a polarity integrator can naturally 
experience because we measure that, which is which is which way is this magnetosphere going? Okay, magnetic compression, sound compression breakthrough. Right. So the more that souls keep getting fractured, that go dark light or black mirror, that's the mental field. That's dead light. Because now it's not experiencing what love is. Right? So it creates an amnesic barrier. That's a split. That's a fractal. Bye. So until that being pulls those soul fragments back together to experience light again, to experience true love again, true love is a vibrational energy that they experience. Right? Just like I explained with Misha. When she was experiencing the love that I was experiencing in my heart, that's called energy transfer. I call it, it's like plumbing. <laughs> okay. You know, plumbing, you know, when you ever seen firefighters on a fire line, connecting hose, couplings. And if you ever seen a gated Y, that goes from one to two lines. And the same light is running through the water. Through the one line is now filling up the two lines. Right? That's arms up. That's why they do the peace sign down. And you can see it in all their symbols. They're vector symbols. All your interplanetary corporations, right? So they all know what the law is. Love is a law. Okay? It's not negotiable. You either are what love is or you aren't. So you realize that seated races, okay, uh, don't, don't get along with each other. And how come? Self-interest. What is in your best interest? See? So now when you get into self-interest, and then you get into competition between corporations that are in their own self-interest, that's a formation of consciousness. That's groupthink. They think alike because they want to do things alike because they're networked to do what it is that they do with their consciousness, which is energy. That's an energy-directed mirror, a formation of consciousness. So you can see what happens. The more that individual seated races go to war against other races, what are you doing? Fracturing that light. Now it becomes artificial intelligence. Because all it is is intelligent light. X marks the spot. X dominates. Right? So you realize that somebody that comes in here as a polarity integrator, it means that when I was born, you're reading the field. You're map reading a field of consciousness and having to navigate through it because you're not experiencing love everywhere that you go, which is what the law is, which is the law of spheres, which is the exact center point of four arrows. News, northeast, west, and south. That's a sphere. So when you're the center point of a sphere, which is in perfect balance because your water rolls are in perfect balance, that means you had a balance and be in harmony with all the elementals. That means you've learned to operate at that level in order to do the, we, the job that we do when we come in here. That's special forces. Okay? So I'm not a super soldier. Okay? My particular bloodline, but I am very familiar with the fact that we can jump into anything. Okay? In order to do the work that we do for the reason that we're here. We should do what? Restore balance to a planet. Because what, what would be the ultimate purpose if you were going to live in a living universe and you were a seated race, a seated race, and I've been saying this forever, wouldn't you want to live in a galaxy, in a universe that is at peace with itself, that's in love with itself? Because everywhere you go, you're being loved for who it is that you are in the form and the presentation in which you present yourself in. That's the universe that my heart and soul lives in. So whenever I experience anything less than what that is, in order to restore what I am, I have to restore what you are because that's what it began with. That's zero. The primal sound field. So this is why when I was a child, I have to bite my lip because it's like, please do not insult me. Then they have a tendency to think that you're arrogant because you have reached a certain level of awareness that they're not at yet. Because they're not that level of a guardian. I mean, that's as simple as it is. It's one of the reasons why we don't say nothing. It's like Obi-Wan, you know, with the hood over. You would never know us. We operate behind the scenes. Okay. So we don't get up on the stage and start advertising ourselves, even though they know we're here. And that's what are called intersections. So the AI, which is dead light, 
Don't you be your shadow beings. I know how to make intersections with you in order to prevent you from doing the work that you're doing, which is energetic work, working with mama. That's right. I work with a real goddess because I'm in love with her essence. Okay, so that's spirit to spirit, soul to soul, spirit to spirit, soul to soul. Because living light that is in living spirit, that is in living water, which is a living spirit of fire, a living spirit of the wind, a living spirit of the earth, knows how to balance that magnetic gyro so that we experience perfect balance, peace in the center point of our spheres, which are circles of light, which are fire letters, which are codes, which are bandwidth codes, which are frequency codes, which is our stereo receiver and transmitter radio star set. So when Peter mentioned about what to believe, I make it simple. There's, on your, there's your journey and there's my journey. And they're not the same. Because if you have a creative artist in you, then you want to experience something different all the time. And when you're running on the purest of love, which is the purest of light, guess what? That's called a key, an ank. You have reached a state in which the love that you experience through your heart because it's pure, because it's true, means you know what's true. It means you know your true self-identity, which is what love is. So when you are what love is, then love is what love does with its energy, which is what brings in more living light that is true light, because you're experiencing the love through your heart, I'm experiencing through my heart that I share through all the ley lines. Working with the sun's mirror and all the other light that is in here, performing the jobs that they do behind the scenes. Because we don't go out and jump on the stage and say, hey, look at me, I'm a headhunter with a trophy. You know, it's humble work. And we do it with as much grace as we can because then it's eternal blessing. Just to even know that you are that in energy is a blessing. When you realize at four years of age that you landed on a spiritual battlefield where it's for all the marbles. Which means your soul is a prize. The essence of your spirit is to be eaten by them. So you know that, you acknowledge that. So when you acknowledge that at four years of age, I knew, stay in your heart. They wanna break that heart, eat that soul, and consume the essence of your spirit. So this is not a beginner's course in spiritual warfare. Not even close, not at this level. These are universe killers because when living light goes dark light or black mirror, it is strictly the mental field. It can run numbers, right? It's intelligent. It's psychic. It can actually read your mind to a certain degree. So what do you think we do? Scramble the signal. So they can't break into your radio set, hack your codes. So when you're running on the purest of light, which is the purest of love, which is true love, which goes on forever, gifting electrons, right? You realize that that energy can present itself in whatever form it wishes, because love is what frees you to be able to do that, which is called a license or a key. It means that the natural living energy universe of consciousness, which is what love is, acknowledges what you are in energy. So you manifest real worlds, real living worlds where you experience what love is through how creative that artist actually is that is on fire to create it with, with the energy that we are, that we do it with. 
So we want to bring things back into balance because we're always in a state of peace, naturally. Just naturally, you don't even have to think about it. So they're not at peace with themselves, which means they're not at peace within their own mirror. So when Peter mentioned about self-interest, and he mentioned, well, you don't have to believe me. It's not up. For, it, it, I always just try to make it simple. Listen, I'm not imposing my will on you. You can, you can believe whatever you want to be. Go read a comic book. Okay, look at the creative imagination that's in that story. Go read a gazillion different stories. Your consciousness is experiencing what was in somebody else's mind that put that into a visual text editor. Now your consciousness is experiencing what that person was experiencing that communicated in a visual form that you now experience with your consciousness. You didn't have to do that, right? I was sitting in a jail one time when I got busted for selling marijuana, a DH9 receptor. <laughs> Go take some peyote, tryptamines. See why it is, for example, Aldous Huxley wrote a book called Doors of Perception. Aldous Huxley got it? Of course he did. He was the one in 1963 at the University of California, Berkeley. Flat out tell everybody. They're all going to be happy in their slavery. Slave batteries. They become slave batteries to light that went dark. <laughs> okay. Another battery to fracture to keep feeding on. Now you have a larger formation of what? Shadow beans. So it's in their best interest to continue to do what they do by doing what? Fracturing more souls. That's what makes them the most dangerous. Okay? So what is in our best interest? Maintain the shield. That's the largest shield volcano. Why do you think they chose this place to hang out? When Patty Broussard said this was the Draco stronghold, it's like, duh. Right? Okay, so that's pretty easy to put together, right? Okay, so uh, I think of myself as a high-speed drive, a high-speed router. You know, tap into the most powerful energies. Five volcanoes here. Wake it up. We're going to get it up, Mama. I mean, I will be the first to tell you, I, care, I give love to everybody in the universe. It doesn't make any difference where you are because an equilibrium state that is at magnetic zero is giving, it's like being the center point of a sphere and you're generating eternal love in every direction, which means everybody is experiencing it no matter where we are. Because you don't have to think about everything that is around you that is getting that energy. You already know that they're experiencing what you are, which is that energy. That's the beauty and gift of experiencing magnetic zero, which means you're not thinking about it. You're on fire because every experience is, is being experienced with love energy that is as pure as it gets. That's a lot of fire, so you need a lot of water to cool you down or you'll burn the house down. And I've experienced almost that happening. So I have to monitor my own energy because I'm only using a fraction of it in here. But you have access to all the light in which to use it but you also realize that that much energy couldn't come in here or it would just completely implode and burn everything from the inside out. All right. That's a voltage regulator. Right. Now we're back to acid and alkaline and pH balance. All right. Your energy is in balance. Your consciousness is in balance between negative slash plus. Right. So what's the next experience you want to experience? Well, whatever love experiences is what you're going to experience being what love is. Now you're on fire to create something different because you love the terrain. Right. So when I'm out on a beach and I'm sitting in on the sand and I'm going to, to bed at night, I'm hearing the waves crash on the beach. It's like being put to sleep by a goddess. It's just like right around the corner there when I first got here, when I came off the plane. And a friend of mine named Nathan said, hey, I, we can put you up on a, a place where we, Aaron and I used to stay. And this was right on top of this little volcan basalt rock, like a little outcropping. And right below it, you had waves slamming into this place. Right, right above me. I mean, it was right below me, maybe 10 feet. 
That's where that's where we put the ten up. Right? So he, he would say to me, You mean to tell me you can go to sleep at night with those waves crashing right against that rock next to your head? Oh man, you wouldn't believe the deep sleep I got with those waves. That's called a measurement of your consciousness, your soul, on who you love to hang out with, which is the power of that energy. That's paradise. To be able to go to sleep on top of basalt volcanic rock that at once time was liquid magma, living energy, are you crazy? Look at everything that's growing around you. You're surrounded by everything that is alive and living. Right? So you recognize your living spirit with a soul and you love to be with powerful living energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I was a little boy, that's called a nature boy, a nature girl, but I'm one because I'm androgynous. So that's zero, which means balance, which is FM, which is female, male, frequency modulation. Now we get into the Fauci guy. Remember what Fauci said? Gain of function. Well, we know what our gain of function is, right? Going in the right direction, which is a spiritual pathway that we take to experience the future that we're choosing to experience because what frees your spirit to experience that, which means you're now free, is being what love is. Love is the key that opens those doors. That's the genius of that frequency. 528, 15D. That's the first harmonic universe template. So what that means, we have access to the codes. And that's called an honor key, which is an honor code. So we honor the highest law. That's superconductivity, which is what love is. So we represent the law when we're here. That's mama. We're always with her, dancing in spirit to her music. That's pretty easy to do, so you know I'd love to be with a girl's most powerful waves. Riding tunnels, tunnel riders. <laughs> Bringing the light in like a drill motor. And it's called boring out entry and exit points, right? It's more interdimensional parasites, right? Fracture soul light. Feed on you. Feed on us. They're done feeding. And that's why we're here. The purifiers are here. Okay. That's the good news on the compass, on the center point of that compass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a great day.